Hi Scorpios and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from December 11 to the 17th. I know when you're going to tell me. You're going to say, Patricia, where is our reading from the last week? I'm sorry, I couldn't do the readings uh, last week. It was like I had like three days that were really emotional for me. And I know that my mom had asked me to stay and be here, but I couldn't. It was, I had to rest. I was very exhausted and um, in the time of the, um, that I'm starting this healing since my mom crossed. So unfortunately, I couldn't do the reading, okay? And that's gonna probably take place sometimes, you know? Um, I do wanna show up, but I can't show up. I couldn't show up last week. It was uh, too, um, I was too exhausted, you know, in terms of like what, I, what I'm going through at this time. I'm not only only going through my mom's passing, um, I'm also like other things are taking place. I think like when my mom crossed over on the eclipse in her sign, <laughs> It's almost that uh, she made a tower happen, but her tower, but not only her tower, she made other towers happen in my life to show me the truth. And I'm so happy that she did do this for me. But at the same time, there's still healing that has to take place for the, for the illusions or something, things that had to shatter, things like illusions that had to shatter around me to see the truth in everything. And uh, I know she's already assisting me. So I'm, uh, anyways, I'm here now and this is what counts, right? So we're gonna start out with the Oracle cards like I usually do, right? So we have uh, the Ascension Oracle card for you. We're gonna take a look into that, okay? And I can't wait for like, um, I think between Christmas and New Year's, I will have my room ready. It won't be ready before then because I'm still waiting for some things to come in. Um, I really miss actually uh, doing my readings in my room. I was looking at some videos in the past when I was doing readings in my room and it was really a nice setup, but I'm going to set up a bit, a bit differently than I did before. Uh, but definitely, um, definitely, uh, I can't wait to do my readings in my room. Okay, so uh, from the Start Seed Oracle deck, we'll see what this is about. And your animal totem, what messages is there from the 11th to the 17th, December. For Scorpios. Okay, and last but not least, the Souls Travelers deck. Here we go. So these are the cards, right? And at the end of the reading, I will give out the Oracle cards, okay? So for those of you that want to wait, but I do have a new deck also, an Oracle deck, which is called Astrology. Okay, so it's an astrology deck. deck. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, Heavenly Bodies Ast Astrology. And I want to see which planet or what it is that's affecting you or activating at this time. Okay, I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of planets, but we'll see what which one is really affecting you at this time. Uh, Scorpio. I was about to say Cancers, but sorry. Scorpio. Okay, you got Mercury. So Mercury is affecting you at this time. Think, learn, and it's about network and communication. This is the planet that's affecting you at this time. So communication. So we're going to take out the book. I want to see if there's any additional messages that I could give you from it. Just give me a second to find it. Okay, give me a second. I know I saw it before. It won't take long, Scorpio. Thank you for your patience. It should, it should be around here. Okay. Okay, here it is. Okay, so the energetical, uh, for the uh, energetics, okay, is ideas, inspiration, the keywords, your mind, channeling, and communication experiences is thinking and lear learning how you process information networking socializing light and unemotional connection lift out of your emotional body and the omen is okay lift out of your emotional body and connect with the intelligence of your rational mind your emotional world is a verdant and beautiful landscape it's your great greatest teacher but every ever every so often 
over above it and elevate your perspective. In stillness, you're reminded feelings do not define you. Practice removing your emotional filter from critical thinking and problem solving. Own your ability to see things as they are and think thoroughly. The clearer you get, the wiser your decision making and the more open your mind for spiritual guidance, channeling and psychic downloads. So you got Mercury here, all right? So that's the planet right now that's uh, activating or it, that's taking, that's gonna be a big focus for you. So we're gonna get into your tarot reading, uh, Scorpio. Okay. Okay. We're gonna look at the recent past, your current energy, your near future, what is it in your outcome, overall I'm gonna clarify and then I'm gonna see what the universe wants to tell you and then we're gonna look at your Oracle cards for those of you that are interested in those thank you for supporting me at this time as I'm going through my changes I know we're all going through changes at this time it's very difficult for everybody so um, I'm happy to be here with all of you and I'm sure you how some of you are happy to be with me as well so let's see what's taking place here for you. Scorpio, what, it, what is your reading from December 11th to the 17th? In the recent past, you got the Ten of Pentacles. First card out. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Nine of Swords. A lot of you have been worried about something in the past. It could be about uh, something that you've been working on every day, like everyday life. You've been putting a lot of energy in long hours, and this has to be towards your maybe stability, you know, prosperity. It could be a legacy, a home, inheritance, whatever it is here. Uh, I feel like you've been putting a lot of energy into something like, uh, in terms of uh, pentacles, could mean like um, just work or money or stability here okay it could be anything well we're going to clarify after in the current energy you got the magician the eight of cups the six of wands so you're manifesting here definitely you're manifesting okay uh you got temperance underneath also patience is the key there's a lot of healing that's taking place here as well something needs to be moderated in terms i don't know if it what it is here for you but definitely you've been trying to manifest something okay and you've been vibrating like uh, putting your energy higher you have all the tools here and this could be like a sense of uh, respect why is respect coming to me well a sense of feeling respected acknowledged yeah i'm hearing acknowledgement too but also like uh recognition and reward here something victorious for you but there is something that you are going to be walking away from is it something that you're putting energy into we'll have to see Okay, but definitely walking away from something here. Let's look in the uh, immediate future. You've got the Ace of Swords. And what you're not seeing in your environment is the Six of Pentacles and the Lovers. Okay, so in the immediate future, there is a breakthrough here. With the Lovers, could be a lover, could be a friend, could be anybody here, whatever this is. Okay, uh, it could be, it's a, there's a strong connection here and there is going to be some type of breakthrough of communication taking place. Communication is going to be very important because there's choices that you will have to make along the way here and again patience is the key and healing because something has to be moderated and this is following you in your reading okay so let's look at the outcome the outcome you got the tower uh cancer had the same card so for those of you that have cancer in your chart you could check that out okay because the uh, cancer had the, the tower card in the outcome so there is some type of change that's going to take place here in the overall you got the temperance all right definitely there is healing patience is needed and something has to come into moderation this could be also something very spiritual and underneath that you have the five of swords well okay the five of swords signifies is there trust issues in the situation is there a lot of fighting people not having your back back and forth whatever it is here there's something here some type of pattern or situation here that uh, needs to be addressed and it comes in with the four swords so there is going to be some type of uh, maybe uh, what is it called um for some of you, there could be a break between a, a person or a situation here because I do see uh, you isolating yourself here, definitely. Okay, you're 
uh, you're pretty open to healing. There's a healing that's taking place, all right? So we're going to clarify the cards for you and see what's happening. So at this time, Scorpio, and everybody should know this, okay? Either or, everybody on the collective, uh, every sign is going through a lot of transformation. There's a lot of endings, there's a lot of new beginnings, things are uncertain. But just keep the faith, okay? That's very important. You need to keep the faith. There is always light and hope at the end of the tunnel. Trust me on that. So let's look at the temperance in the overall for you. Scorpio from December 11th to the 17th. You got the Queen of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. Something here has been very long. Something long term. Something long term. Okay, there's been a lot of difficulties. Maybe in terms of finances for you. And patience is the key. Something has to moderate here. Be moderated. Um, there's been some. There has been difficulty with the Ten of Wands. A lot of obstacles along the way. Okay, the Tens is like there's a new beginning taking place after like you're laying down your rods like you're like you're whatever you've been carrying on your shoulders you're laying it down here okay but definitely here i do see with the queen of pentacles that there is some there is definitely stability i, I have a lot of pentacles already for you i already have four pentacles that are down okay so um there's stability you've been nurturing yourself here and there could be teamwork collaboration or a strong foundation around you uh, patience is the key because I do feel that December something is going to shift for you 100% in this month something is going to shift because you have a lot of power and inner strength to do this okay a lot of power and inner strength to go through a situation here that's been very difficult but I do see people coming together and there's help like it's, 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 it's like for some of you this could be a, a collaboration I want to take an extra card for the ten of wands why is this ten of wands here for you Scorpio just an extra card here you know Six of Swords, yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, it's good. So you're moving past a situation that's been very difficult. Okay, that's what I see here. Okay, so you are could be relocating or moving. Uh, if not, it just means you're going through a transition that better times are coming ahead. You're leaving something behind that was like with the Five of Swords, right? From the Five of Swords, you went to the Six of Swords. And this is about resolution piece that's taking place here for you, okay? Let's look at the recent past. In the recent past, you got the Fruit of Life. Okay, um, Ten of Pentacles, something long term here. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Scorpio? The Two of Pentacles, you've been weighing your options. The Seven of Cups, there's been a lot of options for you, but there's also been a lot of confusion as well, okay, with the Two of Cups. The two of Cups could be a relationship for some of you, it doesn't have to be, but it could be. Okay, whatever it is, you're, you want this Ten of Pentacles. You want something long-term. Maybe you want to grow together, have grandkids and have a home and a family, whatever. This could be finances. It also could be like if you're doing something creative and th this is what you want, some type of legacy here. But whatever the case is here, you've been, you've been trying to bring something into balance here, but almost feels it's rocky, you know? Almost feels like, yeah, like you're being pulled in two different directions or you're just like trying your best here okay and even though you have big dreams and ambitions here there's a lot of confusion in what you want there's something here that is not conclusive yet and with the hermit card okay in the recent past it shows me here uh that you know you have to take time out to really reevaluate something here with this two of cups okay you have to do a lot of reflection on this let's look at the eight of pentacles in the recent past you got the world the tower twice in your reading and the five of cups there's been a lot of regret here in the past okay with the queen of cups still being open here but you were going through something definitely you closed up a chapter here there's something here with the eight of pentacles whatever that you were focusing on right you closed a chapter from the five of cups to the world card you probably there was in the recent past there was disappointment here uh, grief or something that you were always looking at like in a sense like you you figured it out you know in terms of like you found the silver lining in whatever that took place here in the world card you closed a chapter a lesson that you had to learn okay and you closed you closed something here and you put a lot of energy into that and with the world card what it means is that when you finish something there's a new beginning 
okay? And that caused a tower to come through. Let's look at this nine of swords. Not being able to sleep. You have a lot of things on your mind. Let's see what this is all about. You have the king of swords. The ten of swords reversed. That one is reversed. And the nine of wands. Three of swords. You already went through this. There's something that you are feeling now or going through now that you already went through. Okay? Because there was a there was a situation where there was a, le a learned lesson from the past or something that you had to learn here. Uh, but you're worried about something here. You really are. You are worried. Okay? Um, at the same time, uh, as you're worried, you're really, you are finally releasing because the nines are all about completion. So when I see the king of swords next to the, uh, to the nine of swords, you've been observing and you've been through this already. There's a lot of wisdom and intelligence with you in terms of like, you see things as they are and you usually get what you want. You usually attain what you want here. The king of swords, but it's also very cold too in energy. Okay. So maybe you're being just like, take, you're taking a step back here and you want to take action towards something, but it's almost like a stop and go stop and go like this is what i feel i don't know if that was what it but i feel something like that okay and there's still hate, hurt here even though you completed something there's still pain with the three of swords let's look in the current energy you got the magician so let's look at the magician here in the current energy you got the death card you came into your reading very powerful the king of wands here you show up as the king and the queen of pentacles yeah so whatever this is okay you have the inner strength you got the power you took your power back here is what i feel uh there's a death and rebirth of course you're going through a transformation at this time it's okay but it's only in terms of if it this has to do with chemistry or with love or if it has to do towards your business in which way you're going you're taking leadership here you're not like a follower you know you're taking leadership there's a bigger picture here that you're seeing the king of swords and the king of wands and you're taking action Okay, definitely taking action towards it as you're going through this transformation because you've been manifesting this in finances. I do see something beautiful taking place here. Okay, there's, there is stability. You've been nurturing yourself here. I do see that. And you have the power, the inner strength to do this, whatever it is that you're going through. But I'm going to take an extra card for the King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. One more card, please. The Six of Pentacles. You want things to come into balance and it is. Whatever you're putting out there, whether it's generosity, work, charity, whatever it is you're doing out there, it's coming back to you. And this is what you want. And this is the transformation that this is all about because there is an offer coming in here for you. Okay, so a lot of pentacles here. Let's see. Let's look at the eight of cups here. In the, it's right in the middle of your reading. So let's see what it is that you're walking away from. Is it a thought? Is it a belief system? Is it the way you're thinking about things? Is it about a person? Is it about a job? I don't know. Let's see. The Queen of Wands. So we've got the King and Queen of Wands. The Sun. The Three of Cups. King of Cups. Well, definitely here. You are walking away from something. Definitely here. I'm going to just see something else. Why are you trying to hide this from me? Give me another card for the Eight of Cups, please. One card. There it is. What is this? The Four of Swords. Okay. You're healing. Definitely. This is what I was talking about. Definitely. That's what I want to say. What are, what are you walking? Well, you know, from the Three of Swords, you got the Four of Swords here. Okay. So definitely this is the Four of Swords. Yeah, it is. So you're leaving... a. Um, if you were in your head about something, if you were overthinking about something, if you were thinking negative about something, whatever it is here, right? You are leaving part of that behind. That emotion in the way that you were thinking, the confusion. Something here that is going to be revealed to you. With the Queen of Wands, the Sun, and the Three of Cups, there will be celebrations here. You're going you're going after what you want. The Sun card is the most important, well, not the most important, but it's the, it's, it's the best card in the deck 
So this is about positive vibes, positive times. You're just, and it's about celebrations, about socializing, networking, and uh, a lot of confidence and determination here. And something very magical is taking place because you also got the six of wands. So there is victory and success here. There's some type of milestone here. Something that you're walking away from, maybe in the way that you're thinking about things. I don't know, but there's definitely something that you walked away from or an emotion that you let go of. So let's look at the six of wands here, Scorpio. You got temperance, beautiful. Three of wands, or no, two of wands, two of cups. Patience is the key. Okay, so patience is the key here for you. Healing, moderation. With the two of wands, you are making progress with people or a, or a person with the two of cups here. There is a relationship for some of you out there. I mean, it doesn't have to be. But patience is the key and communication is the key here, okay? Because there is healing. But, you know, either which direction you go, I feel you will be successful. Right? There's a lot, like the 222, number 22 is here. Definitely here, it's just about you being patient. Let me look. Give me an extra card for the two of wands. Yeah, we're going to take an extra card. Why not? That's what cards are made for. <laughs> and I used to always do my reading like this. Six of cups. Yeah, there's going to be healing. Definitely. There's going to be healing. And there's something here long term for you. Okay, but it's going to be slow moving. Not fast, but definitely there's going to be healing. This is a soulmate. Memories of love here. That's taking place. There's healing. All right. Let's look in the near future. You got the Ace of Swords. What is this all about? Ace of Swords. Five of Wands. Eight of Swords. Five of Cups. There's an energy of feeling. Number 55 is here. Five of Swords. You got the Five of Swords, Five of Cups, Five of Wands. Only missing is the five of pentacles. There's three fives on the ground. So you're going through a lot in terms of um, trust issues and thinking negative about some, or it could be someone else. I don't know if it's you or something, whatever it is here. I'm not trusting a situation here. Or, you know, you don't have the right people around you. There's a lot of disappointment. Okay. There's a, there's disappointment. There's definitely grief here. Um, you keep looking at the things that you're, you're looking at things that went wrong but you're not looking at the whole situation you're not some of you are are, are going through this right now like you're reevaluating everything and all that and there's a lot of like drama and ego based energy here fighting drama conflict but uh and you're feeling stuck you're, you're you're really feeling stuck but what the good news is that there is a breakthrough you're going to break through from all of that negative stuff here and there is going to be some type of communication Let's look at the Six of Pentacles and what you're not seeing right now. You got the Four of Pentacles. Okay, there's a new beginning definitely here with the Six and the Four. Um, if you want things to come into balance, you need to open your heart, Scorpios. You need to be vulnerable and not hold back in what you need to say. Six of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, what else? The Nine of Swords showed up again, and the High Priestess. You need to follow your intuition. Some of you are not. You're not. There's something you're not following here. You have the wisdom. You have the gift, Scorpio. Someone is holding back here. There's an energy of stress here, you know, like almost like it feels stressful, you know, in terms of stability, in terms of like someone's holding back how they truly feel here. But they're saying, yeah, you know what, if you do open up and if you do let go of, uh, of um, you know, these five of swords and all these uh, five of wands and five of cups energy and whatever that's taking place here. They want you to trust your intuition, but if you're overthinking about something and you're in your head all the time and you're worried and you're not really open, you're not going to follow through because there's important choices that you have to make here along the way. So let's look at the lovers. Three of swords. Page of swords. Six of wands. 
Well, the devil. It could be Saturn, it could be patterns here between uh, the lover's card. There could be patterns in a situation. Uh, negative negativity, uh, something toxic here. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of pain. There is pain. There's obsession, there's pain. There's heartbreak. There's choices that you have to make in this connection here. There will be, I, mean, I do see that you are going to be starting to see things differently. There could be some type of communication coming in. Uh, but it's about perceiving things differently here. What they're showing me through all that is that there, there, there is going to be success here for you. Okay, there is success here in the situation. But you really need to connect to your higher self here. Let's look at the tower in the outcome. Page of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Well, whatever it is, what they keep showing me is that, you know, it's about you listening to your intuition. There's possibilities here. There is an offer. Okay, there could be an apology here. There's trust issues, definitely, or someone not having your back here. But the tower is coming in to shake things up. It doesn't mean, if a tower was reversed, it would have shown me that something cannot be fixed. But this could be fixed, Scorpio. And so you are a fixed sign as well. So something could be fixed here because there is a breakthrough. And this keeps following you around. So there's definitely a breakthrough here for you. Let's see what the universe wants to tell you before we uh, get into your oracle cards. Well, what they want you to do? Well, this is what they want you to do. You want to have that breakthrough? You need to listen to your intuition. You got the hermit card. This is what the universe wants you to do. They want you to go within. They want you to continue your healing journey. And they want you to reflect. And take time out here because you will get this but you have to go through this first okay so now we're going to take out your oracle cards okay so you got the first one you got is unknown territory so this is why you're feeling at this time maybe this is why you know there's confusion you are in unknown territory at this time scorpio okay it says here you are exactly where you need to be so if you feel like, I don't know where I'm going, I'm walking this road, I haven't been here before, or it's foggy, I can't see through it right now. Wherever you're going through right now, you, you, exact, you are exactly where you need to be. From the Star Seed uh, Oracle, it says, fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. Fall into my arms, that's what God's telling you and surrender you also got the river queen flow letting go and natural movement number 36 in numerology your animal totem is horse and it talks about freedom it says here you must break out of any limitations that are holding you back whether they are self-imposed or put on you by other people or society break free and run faster towards your dreams and for your ascension card you got number nine nine unification aligning with abundance because i do see this coming for you as well so i hope that you enjoyed your reading uh, scorpio don't forget to comment like share and subscribe please support my channel it means the, it means the world to me and i'll see you soon please take care bye